I'm an architect. I studied at this university, so I have the Spanish diploma. Um, I teach since uh, 85 uh, in, uh, architectural design and for the last five years I've been the responsible for the international relations at uh, EDSAP, uh, the Barcelona School of Architecture. I do the work in the studio mainly and um, the, uh, the last years I've been working with uh, the second year students, the very young ones, 19 and 20 years old. In, in some sense, the work has been done during the last uh, 170, 50 years, so it is um, uh, on one hand uh, the great responsibility no, to work in a school that has such a good tradition, on the other hand it gives you also many chances. No? Um, uh, the thing is that uh, um, we are now uh, very aware that we have to open more and more uh, our uh, school and our, um, let's say, academical networks to the world. Uh, it has been already done a lot in the last 15 years, uh, but now the um, crisis makes it even more, uh, let's say, evident or um, necessary no, to uh, establish uh, these uh, relations to um, exchange uh, um, teachers to exchange uh, students to um, develop common programs with other schools. Uh, sorry, that's my. It's uh, one of our um, really important aims uh, in the strategical plan is to open even more our international relations. We already are uh, doing the traditional exchange programs. Uh, in Europe and applying the same shape of, this, uh, of the uh, Erasmus uh, program to uh, other continents. We have relations with Australia, with uh, uh, North America, with South America, especially you know, by sharing culture and uh, language, and uh, of course with um, uh, also several universities in Asia. No? We, we still have to uh, widen the net, uh, we think of uh, Africa. Um, uh, I am now uh, um, speaking about, let's say, the stable net, but what we have um, uh, also work more and more is on uh, specific programs no? that involve uh, as well teachers as uh, students and which also have to do uh, with um, workshops, uh, um, re uh, research, etc. Uh, we have been doing um, international uh, work, uh, workshops here in our school for the last 10 years in a regular way, but we have to stop them now because we have no foundings by the uh, big financial crisis. Um, some of uh, the things that are running um, have to be stopped, so we are now, let's say, uh, storming our brains to uh, look for other um, possibilities as we firmly believe that um, um, in internationalization of uh, academy is the future. No, You cannot um, be competitive if you do not have this chance to uh, get uh, uh, other points of view to understand other ways of doing to well, just exchange your knowledge with others um, you will not be competitive competitive in this big world world so um, well for us it's uh, one of the main aims as I already said and uh, uh, our students are very aware of that and also our our teachers mainly the young teachers well uh, at this very moment, as you are saying, for us it's especially interesting to keep on, to develop uh, uh, our international network as it gives a chance to our students 
uh, to um, well have better a uh, better starting point for their uh, professional life no it puts them in contact with other people it gives the opportunity to work outside if they don't get a job inside it opens their mind and makes them more flexible to work in different kinds of um, let's say uh, speci specializations within architecture uh, so in this sense it's very positive and we do uh, our best to um, open all opportunities to our students. But the result of that is that many of them, as they are very well educated, prepared and had this uh, uh, previous possibility to widen their minds by all these problems we have running. And, uh, I said the, 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 the problem is that uh, when they do this uh, international jump uh, in some way, um, well, um, we are losing them, no? We of course hope that they will come back, that they will um, learn a lot and then bring this back to, to ours, but that's nothing that we can uh, control. So that in, on the other hand, I mean, um, personally, I have this splitting between thinking that my job is to uh, give our uh, young people the opportunity to um, go abroad, but on the other hand, I feel uh, that, um, well, I, I can understand that society complains about uh, spending the money of all of us in educating uh, people that uh, afterwards will not give back uh, this um, well, this knowledge to society. No? They become generalists and we uh, still believe in this figure because we think that uh, specialization uh, comes um, on one hand by uh, practice and opportunity, on the other hand by uh, former uh, education, by uh, well, what we call master programs which are post-master programs which are um, specialization courses uh, which are uh, well, developing of uh, research or PhD uh, which are uh, concrete offer of uh, some let's say um, well uh, related to industry whatever also courses no uh, so there, that there is this opportunity afterwards no, uh, to uh, enter in detail to something that uh, will be what uh, you natural way of of, of, uh, well, of, of uh, applying your knowledge to profession. No? Um, the thing is that um, on the, what also happened is that um, our um, the time our students spend at our school is at uh, this moment uh, five years and then they develop their final project. So it's a very short time, even if they stay more, uh, to um, learn more than in general terms. Mm -hmm. So being aware of that, what we think is that it's um, um, that it also has an advantage because it opens much more possibilities. No? If we would specialize them, because you could argue just the other way around, if they only have five years, specialize them from the beginning. No? But uh, uh, we turn it around and say no. We try to open a lot of different uh, doors and then it's on your to enter one of them and uh, take the responsibility by yourself no? uh, to uh, well, know more about that. Of course, the risk is that if something is very responsible, irresponsible, um, going out of this generalist studies, he, he could do anything, but uh, we uh, never had any problem in the sense because somebody who does not know, for instance, how to do a scale script will not do that <laughs> until he has been working a lot of years in an office With where people develop sc uh, skyscrapers. No? In Spain sti uh, still there is no obligation 
to have uh, practice uh, before you get your uh, working license. Uh, it's now changing the new um, academic um, program for architects will include this uh, obligation of practices. Uh, but it has uh, an explanation that we did not uh, need to make it official because all students from third year onwards uh, got uh, jobs on themselves because they, there was such a lot of uh, uh, work no, in our country uh, that it was the natural way to get no, at the beginning pocket money and afterwards, well, step by step, introducing them in this way to, 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 to the practice and to the to, to an, to an office or whatever, to a partnership with somebody. Um, uh, what we have at school, and I suppose other schools have it too, is um, a little employment office, which has, um, um, let's say, students go there looking for a job, architects put their announcements there, and it is tax-free because uh, there is a limited number of uh, time, they, I think it's uh, not more than 20 hours a week, which is already half a time job, no? That they can um, work and uh, uh, even the structure, the time schedule of our school is organized in this way that they have uh, six hours in a block uh, whether in the, in the what we call morning or in the afternoon, so that they can uh, um, work three or four hours in an office at the other half time. So that the offices always have the supply of the students, some of them go in the morning, some mm -hmm. of them go in the afternoon. They worked very well until now. Um, by the way, it was one of the, as we get as a school, a little um, fee for uh, every agreement, it was uh, one of our, uh, let's say, fo uh, foundings, no? But now as crisis is so huge, uh, this is also failing and uh, we cannot guarantee now the um, practice uh, of the practical work of our students. And I think it's therefore that the ministry now wants to make uh, it as a rule, as it does not happen, that what we wonder is how will they find a job? My next step as a um, um, person is uh, go ahead with our international uh, spreading. I still have um, one, nearly one half and a year to do that. Uh, and then, well, it will depend on uh, the rotations of our colleagues if they want us to go ahead with uh, this um, team of no direction team. If not, uh, well, I will have to look for something else. And as a, a school, it um, uh, what we are trying is to see how we manage uh, the crisis that also is beginning to affect the number of uh, uh, candidates of uh, student candidates. No, it's going down, so that uh, uh, we will have to look how we deal or how we uh, guarantee that we mm, fill up all the placements we can give. No? And that's now our uh, aim now to see uh, how we can, um, let's say, mm, disse disseminate the specificities and the values of the Ar Barcelona School of Architecture. Mm -hmm. We have these uh, mm, specificities and these values, but we never had the need to um, use them to, to use them or to make them expose them, make them now and uh, no, no, and now we will have to the, and not only in uh, local or national terms, but also international. Mm -hmm. no? Okay, mm -hmm. great, Mrs. Karenhofer. Thank you very much for your time, and thank you very much for assisting the Escapes project. We hope that it's going to continue, and then uh, in one part of next upcoming year, we will be in position to give at least this, the, the part of uh, uh, assistance which you, which you gave us in, in Spain. Thank you and congratulations for this fantastic program. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.